Hello, this is Billy Core from Carolina Circle Mall. Today is Wednesday, October the 4th of 2017, and um, what we're looking at is, well, obviously it's a motherboard. Um, I um, picked this up in a uh, white box system that I got from Value Village today for about $4. And um, this is a uh, Intel... E139761 motherboard with a um, slot one um, processor in here. It has a 400 megahertz Intel Pentium 2. And um, yeah, I don't, don't really know much about this motherboard just yet since I just got it today, but um, I do know that it's better than what I have right now in my. Um, Carolina Flyer computer, which I showed on my channel not too long ago. This is pretty much my all-purpose retro machine now. Um, it has an A-open motherboard in it, also a Pentium 2, although it's a 266 megahertz Pentium 2, and I have it overclocked to 300 megahertz, and it won't really take anything higher than that. This motherboard, on the other hand, um, not only does it already have a 400 megahertz, um, Pentium 2 in it, but it will also take a Pentium 3. So what I'm going to do in this video is, well, we're going to upgrade the motherboard in the Carolina Flyer from what it has now to this motherboard. And what I plan to do eventually is find a um, slot 1 Pentium 3, probably on eBay, and pop this in here because um, as nice as this system is, um, I I just want it to have a Pentium 3. <laughs> it just feels like it would just give it the more of a good feel to it, if it makes if that makes sense to you. So yeah, um, and I've already tested this motherboard. It does work. So um, let me get the tripod set up and bring the computer over here and start upgrading. Okay, here's how the system looks now. Um, we've got two hard drives here, a 40 gig hard drive and a, um, a 15 gig hard drive, um, which is where I store um, computer game files on. Um, in fact, this 40 gig drive, um, this, this motherboard can only see up to about 32 um, gigabytes of this hard drive, so maybe this motherboard right here will um, We'll be able to see all 40 of it. You know, I can't talk today for some reason. I have a little bit of a slur to myself. I don't know why. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm build a computer. So, um... <laughs> got the DVD-ROM drive up there. Um, memory, I believe I got 128 in it. Maybe 256. This uh, motherboard did not have memory in in it when I got it, so we'll just transfer that memory over to this one. There's the 266 megahertz Pentium 2 that I have overclocked to 300, but this will be upgraded to a 400 megahertz Pentium 2 today, and ho hopefully, um, eventually, a Pentium 3 um, at a much later date, of course. Um, my um, video card, a um, ATI Rage 128. This is a very, very nice video card. Um, plays everything. <laughs> a very, very compatible card. I, can hi I highly recommend it. Um, the video card this computer came with originally um, did not work, so we'll obviously not be using that. But even if it did work, I wouldn't use it because it was just a cheap SIS video card. A network card and my Sound Blaster AW64. And all three of these cards will be uh, moved over to this board. So, um, I guess that's pretty much all. Um, let's go ahead and start taking this apart. Okay, um, the old motherboard has been removed. And I took the liberty of going ahead and adding the uh, memory to the um, system here. As well as um, a fresh CMOS battery because the one that was in here was dead. Um, to be fair though, I actually stole this out of the old um, motherboard because I don't have any fresh um, CMOS batteries at the moment. So, um, let's go ahead and start reassembling. 
Okay, I got the new motherboard in the system and um, I actually already have it powered on. As you can see, it's working. We're at the BIOS. Um, I um, It actually took me a little while to get it up and running. Um, it, it would post and everything, but um, as you know, I'm um, not very good with uh, front panel connectors and I had to adjust some hard drive jumpers so um, all that combined it took me a little bit longer than expected but ov overall everything is working now um, haven't tried booting into Windows yet um, I'm gonna try not to have to reformat Windows because um, I kinda got it in a, in a state where I really really like it and I don't wanna go around uh, having to redo it all because it took a while to get it the way I wanted it so um, maybe it'll just install some new um, motherboard drivers and that'll be it because um, we're still using the same expansion cards video cards and whatever the main th main two things that have changed are the processor and the motherboard so um, hopefully it won't be um, too big a deal so um, I'll go ahead and button this back up and hook it back over all right, got the computer back in its um, regular home, so let's um, monitor on, and turn the computer on, and um, see if Windows 98 has become uh, uh, dust in the wind. <laughs> screen's a little wobbly. There you go. Um, I think it was my uh, PC to TV encoder. Okay, video card still going. Uh, we're probably going to see a lot of this for the next few minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going. What's going on here? <laughs> What did you do to me? I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Uh, direct memory access controller. So far, it looks like we probably won't have to um, reformat, which is good. And the nice thing about having an old operating system like Windows 98 is um, when you replace your motherboard, you don't have to worry about um, having to get a new product key for activation. <laughs> Nowadays, if you change your motherboard and your computer, um, Windows will um, go, Oh, you're pirating software! Boy, I'm really doing a lot of weird voices today. <laughs> I always joke that um, my good friend, the Flying Scotsman, um, always, always love the funny voices he does in his videos. So I'll, so a lot of times I'll isolate those moments <laughs> and have and have like a Jay Wakefield soundboard. And so thanks to this video, I bet Jay's going to do the same thing to me. But of course he can. Like I said, the expansion cards, video card, it has not been changed, so we don't have to worry about those, as far as I know. And I hear a stink bug. Ugh. I hear those are going to be a big problem this year. To me, they're just like big dumb flies that get in your way. Start to floppy drive seek. Okay, it wants to install drivers for the network card. Um, it should be there. It's a three com fast Ethernet link. 
very compatible card. Um, as a matter of fact, um, if you install Windows 98, it'll install the drivers automatically. You don't have to search for them anywhere. And it's always nice when it's that easy. <laughs> Well, sound works. Uh, we'll reboot in a little bit. I just want to see if um, there's anything else it needs to install. That's definitely a good sign. But we'll probably go ahead and reboot anyway. Uh, no network connection, huh? That part just needs a reboot. Anyway, I'll do that off camera. One moment. Okay, we've rebooted and I figured out what the network problem was. It was simply because I didn't have my um, virtual domain server online, so that took care of that. So let's check out Device Manager. Okay, we're still at the Pentium 2, 256 megs of RAM, although we're 100 megahertz faster now. Uh, looks like everything's accounted for in Device Manager, that's definitely a good thing. So yeah, I say this was a very, very successful upgrade. And we'll do a DX Diag. Yeah, it doesn't show the, uh, yep, yeah, it does, 400 megahertz. I guess the next thing I need to do to this system is, um, buy it a new, um, processor. Um, I'm wanting to get a slot one Pentium 3 for this system. Probably somewhere around 500 megahertz or so, um, so yeah, um, that's definitely in the books. And then I think this system will pretty much be the official dream system for me and that is really really cool so until next time this is Billy Core signing off thank you for watching my video if you enjoyed what you saw please like subscribe and follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram the addresses are located at the bottom until next time this is Billy Core signing off